Hi, welcome. Rob Prabhasha here from the Wizard of Light. Welcome to part two. What is photography? So I want to explain some very simple core concepts to you. And I want you to burn this into your conscience. I want you to really get a deep understanding of this idea before we go further with our photography. So the first thing I want to explain to you is the actual meaning of the word photography. It's two words. Photography. Photo means light. Graphy means paint. So we're painting with light. Photography. Painting with light. Sounds really simple. And I don't want you to roll your eyes and say, why is he telling me this? I want you to really understand this because this is a core concept that is going to come up again and again and again through this program. We're painting with light. And as you understand that more and more, you be, you'll develop a much deeper understanding of how lighting works, how exposure works, and how you can tie it all in to your ultimate creation, your composition. It's very important. I'll be bringing it up again and again so that you have a deeper understanding. It's, but it's important. You're painting with light. So photography beyond that uh, encompasses this, uh, this idea that I call the power of threes. There are three things that create an exposure. There are three things that affect lighting. And there are three things that affect the tonality in lighting. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So if you can understand those ideas, they're immutable. They never change, ever. There's always three things that affect your exposure. There's your ISO, the amount of light you're lighting into your scene, and the amount of time that that light is being exposed onto your, your sensor, which is your shutter speed. So I have your aperture, which is your light, your shutter speed, which is the time, the ISO, which is the sensitivity. So I'm going to explain all those a little bit more. But just understand the power of threes is always something that is going to work for you. Once you understand that, there's a reciprocity that comes into play. And it's very, very simple. And then you develop a sense of intuition over time where you're able to just look at a scene, bingo, and you can apply those strategies without even thinking. It's a level that's really good to be at. You don't want to be stuck focusing on all these different settings that your camera does because the settings and how you use your camera when you really get to it is really, really simple. And we're going to get to that in the next part. But for now, I just want you to understand the power of threes. We're painting with light. We're using light, time, and sensitivity, as well as lighting. Now I'm going to explain this, so bear with me, please. Lighting is affected by three things. There are three things that affect light, and that's it. This never changes. Okay? It's your light source. It is the angle that the light is coming at the subject, and it's the distance. Source, angle, distance. We're going to cover this again over and over and over throughout this series. And you're going to become very well versed, and you're going to have a deep understanding in these areas. And the final part is the three tones. There are only three tones in photography. There are shadows, highlights, and true tone. I'm going to explain that in greater depth in the next part, but I want you to understand it. Just understand it verbally for now. You have shadows, which is a false tone. Imagine if you're looking at somebody's face in the broad midday sunlight, and they have this harsh shadow on one side. So it's dark. Is that the true color of their skin? No, they're in shadow. That's why it's called a false tone. So imagine another scene where you're shooting into a lake and the sun is setting on the other side. And you notice you got those diamonds on the top of the waves, very soft diamonds. And it's white. 
Is that the color of the water? Like a diamond, it's white, it's bright, it's overexposed. That's called a specular highlight. It's a highlight. It too is a false tone. A true tone, which is probably the least important of the three, when you think about it, but the true tone is where the light is hitting the face, and this is the true color of whatever it is that you're photographing. Okay, so don't worry about that for now, but I want you to understand that the power of threes is always working as far as your exposure, what affects your light, and what affects the tones. There ain't no more. That's it. That's all. But there's a lot of layers to it. We're going to get into it more and more and more. So for now, think in terms of painting with light. You are an artist. You are painting with light. All right, thanks. We'll see you later.